Hello, good morning. My name is Professor Henrique Fernandes. I am from Federal University of Uberlândia in Brazil. I'm currently doing a postdoc at the Fraunhofer Institute for Non-Destructive Testing in Germany. And today I'm going to present our work entitled Non-Destructive Inspection of a Decorative Marketary Sample. I will start with a brief introduction, followed by the presentation of the inspected sample as well as the NDT methods applied. Then I'm going to share the results that we've got, ending with a conclusion. Introduction. As everybody knows, non-destructive inspection of structure objects is of vital importance, especially for cultural heritage where the objects cannot be damaged in any way. In this paper, we're going to present uh, some results that we got in the inspection of a decorative marketary sample by three NDT methods, air couple ultrasound, X-ray computed tomography, and infrared tomography. Now, materials and methods. The inspected sample is a decorative marketary sample. Its size is about something between 21 centimeters by 21 centimeters, and the thickness is between 15 to 16 millimeters. Uh, it's composed of a support wooden sample where we have tessellatum parts on top of it. The thickness of the tessellatum is about 1.5 to 2 millimeters, as well uh, the materials of the tessellatum are different materials. They are not made of only one, but different materials. In addition, the sample has a little curvature around its uh, side, so it's not flat. The sample is a little curved. Three different NDT methods were used to inspect the sample. We use infrared tomography in the pulse tomography setup. Uh, the camera used is a dual band camera where we can record images at the same time in both median and long wave infrared spectrum. We use a circular flash uh, and we position the sample in reflection mode. The second inspection method is, a, is air couple ultrasound. Here we can see the images of the sample and the transducer. We can also see the curvature that I talked about early. Uh, the frequency of the inspection is 5800 kHz and for each millimeter uh, around 16 ultrasound poles uh, were shot. Since the curvature of the, the sample, uh, the inspection had to be divided in three sections. Later, the sections were combined and reconstructed together. And last, we inspected with X-ray computed tomography. It's a well-known technique and the size of the voxel is 116 microns. Results and discussion. First, here we have the reconstructed image for air couple ultrasound. Uh, we can see several regions with higher value, uh, the red regions, I mean. And these regions, we believe that they are related to delaminations, uh, so air between the tessellatum and the wooden sample. For the X-ray computed tomography, uh, I, I present here several slices. Uh, in this first slice here, uh, we can see by the yellow arrow the the central the tessellatum that's in the center, and we can see that there is a crack on it. Uh, I also measured it, and the size of this tessellatum is, specifically is 1.86 millimeters. That's 
between 1.5 and 2 millimeters. That's the, what was expected. We can see also by the orange arrows here uh, that there are several regions in the sample where we have uh, delamination. So what was present in the ultrasound images, it's confirmed here in the, the X-ray CT scan images. I also point out that since the curvature of the sample, we cannot see the entire uh, frontal view here at once, uh, but uh, we can see it according to the curvature. The second slide here, I want to show you this crack region pointed out by the red arrow here. This third, we can observe also the lamination but also this uh, deformation, roughness on the, on the tessellatum uh, part here. Finally, in this fourth slide, we can see uh, porous in this tessellatum pointed out by this yellow arrow. Finally, the infrared thermography uh, were acquired in mid and long wave and then we process it uh, with principal component thermography. And here we can see the three first images for each spectrum. We can observe that the features visible in both spectrums are more or less the same. They are only the ne negative part of each other. And we can also observe that the colors uh, of some tessellatum parts are different so we believe that it's related to the state of conservation of the tessellatum. Finally, the conclusion. In this paper, three NDT techniques were applied to inspect a decorative Mark III sample. Results from each technique show different features. For air couple ultrasound, we saw easily regions with uh, delamination. The red regions. For the X-ray CT scan, we see the most detailed images. We, in the reconstructed slices, it was possible to identify the thickness of the tessellatum parts as well as identify cracks, porous, delaminations throughout the sample. Finally, the infrared images processed with PCT it was revealed several parts with different false colors corresponding to their neighbors. This may indicate that the tessellatum parts are in different state of conservation. I want to thank the Hanover Institute for Non-Destructive Testing and the CAPS and Alexander von Humboldt Foundation. If you have any questions, you may contact me uh, through my email or you may also access my website. Thank you very much and have a great day.